Hi everyone, Joanne here with The Work in Progress. And today I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. And that is a comparison on some areas between the selling platforms of eBay and Poshmark. Uh, as some of you might know, Poshmark has recently allowed the sale of hard goods. So I thought I might just touch on five different areas that uh, were important to me when I started selling on both, of, uh, both eBay and Poshmark. And uh, if I don't go over anything that you might want to know, if you would go ahead and leave a comment down below what your question is. And um, if there's enough that I haven't covered, I would be more than happy to do another video answering the questions that you do have. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The five areas that I want to cover are what can you sell, uh, the ease of listing on both Poshmark and eBay, the cost to list, how much you're going to make on a sale, and then the shipping, because I know that shipping on eBay can be a little intimidating when you're first getting started. I know it was for me, certainly. So let's start with what you can list. Uh, on eBay, you can list just about anything that is not prohibited by eBay. Um, I will say that in my experience, I think eBay is a better place to list uh, like vintage items, maybe some quirky items. Whereas Poshmark, in my experience, I think is more geared to today and what is happening and what is trending and what is popular today. So I would say that that is the difference between the two there. I'm not sure that Poshmark would be the ideal place for listing vintage items. I think that eBay or Etsy would be a better place for that. Now the ease of listing. Overall, I think for me anyway, eBay is far easier to list on. I love that you can make drafts on eBay and save them. That option is not available yet anyway um, at Poshmark. So um, another thing with Poshmark that I have found in ease of listing is for me is that it's easier for me to take the picture of the item and then create the listing right away. If you create a listing and then try to go back and add your photos, sadly you can only enter one at a time and I found that to be time consuming and cumbersome. So between the two I would have to say that listing and uploading your pictures and having that ability to create drafts on eBay is a lot more user friendly than Poshmark. So what does it cost to list on the two platforms? Now I will say that Poshmark uh, wins out there. It does not cost anything to list an item on Poshmark or items and nor do they charge any kind of uh, monthly fee to keep your listing active. It can be up for as long as you have your Poshmark closet open. Now eBay, on the other hand, does charge a 30 cent uh, listing fee for each item that you list. However, uh, if you do have a store, depending on the level of the store that you have, monthly they will give you a certain number of free listings and then every once in a while too they'll just send out an email with an offer for additional free listings but I have found with those that it's a very short time window maybe a day or two so you really got to hustle to get them your items listed. Um, eBay also charges if I'm not mistaken a 30 cent per month per item fee uh, so whereas on Poshmark, if you have your item up for, let's just say, two months and it doesn't sell, it costs you nothing. On eBay, you have that same item listed for two months and it's going to cost you 60 cents. So there is a difference there. Now, how much can you make on both platforms? I found that they're fairly comparable, compatible. On a $20 sale... Um, on Poshmark, on a regular sale, the buyer always pays the shipping. And Poshmark has worked out, from my understanding, a deal with uh, USPS for priority shipping for $6.95. So anything that is purchased on Poshmark, the buyer pays $6.95. Unless you, as a seller, make an offer to lessen the shipping, but that's a whole other area. 
So on a $20 item on Poshmark, this does not include the cost of goods, you stand to make $16. For anything over $15 in sale, Poshmark will take 20% of that sale. Anything under $15, I believe it's $2.95 that they take, regardless of how much it was. If it, if it sold for $4, they're going to take $2.95. Now, on eBay, you have to consider not only eBay fees, but uh, PayPal fees as well. So, I factored in the shipping in this $20 item on eBay, and I hope this makes sense. When you offer, or you, I'm sorry, when you do not offer free shipping on your items, as I do not, eBay considers not only what your item sold for, but the shipping as well as your total sale. So if, let's just take that same $6.95 as a shipping fee. So your item sells for $20 on eBay. eBay considers that total sale $26.95. So they take their fees from $26.95 rather than just the $20 that the item sold for. So a $20 item on, on eBay is going to net you about $16.58. So you can see eBay $16.58 and Poshmark $16. So they're little, you know, there is a little bit of difference there. Um, to me, it's not enough uh, to deter me from either one of the platforms, and I'm not sure that either one of them kind of wins out in that area for me. And then finally, the shipping. Now, I know when I started on eBay, the shipping, it just intimidated the devil out of me. <laughs> but after a while, if I got it, you can get it too. Let me touch on Poshmark first because Poshmark is easy peasy shipping. As I said, the buyer pays for the shipping on Poshmark. Everything goes by priority mail and you can pick up the priority mail, the boxes and labels as well as envelopes for free from the United States Postal Service. So all you do, your item sells, you don't have to worry about the size of the box. You do have to worry about weight because the $6.95 is only up to five pounds. So if you're smell selling, sorry about that, smelling. If you're selling smaller items and clothing and that sort of thing on Poshmark and the item does not weigh $5, you just pop it into a priority box or an envelope and it is on its way. eBay is different in that you have to, when you are creating your listing, you have to weigh your item and put the weight into your listing, as well as now, and very important with USPS, is the size of the box, which of course you'll kind of have to guesstimate that. And I have made mistakes on my, my shipping boxes uh, on, on occasion. And on eBay, you can actually offer more than one shipping option for your buyer, which is kind of nice. Now, for me, comparing eBay and Poshmark in shipping, I really think that Poshmark kind of makes it a lot easier for us as sellers. So those are my five areas. I would love to have your feedback on this. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if I have not hit on anything that you might have a question about, please feel free to leave the question in the comment section down below. And if I do get enough of those questions, I'd be more than happy to make another video and answer those questions for you. So if you enjoyed the video and you found this uh, to be helpful and I provided you with some information, I would love a big old thumbs up. And uh, if you like this kind of content, and want to see more of these videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join me in my uh, YouTube little family here. So until next time, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.